Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from acupofdeath.com and today we're doing an unboxing of the A-Data Premiere Pro SATA 6 gigabits per second solid state drive, the SP900. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon. Um, it is $84.29 at the time of this video and you can check the video description for a link to Amazon uh, where you may purchase this device uh, if you like what you see. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing and then after the unboxing in this same video we're going to go straight into a review of the drive and how well it works. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up here. Got a little sticker here holding that on. We'll slice that. That'll let us open this up right here. And we got the A Data drive, the actual drive, 128 gigabytes, SP900, with all the information on the back. We also have what looks like. Actually, I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks like it got some uh, 3M double-sided tape on it. It looks like it had some kind of way in order to mount the hard drive, probably to this here bracket, which allows you to put it into a normal hard drive bay, which all comes with it. A quick start guide, which I'm sure ex explains that. And free disk software, um, you know, download a key or whatever so that you can migrate your software from your current hard drive to this hard drive. Uh, so it has everything you needed, including the bracket. Uh, which is really nice is a lot of hard drives, you know, SSD drives don't come with this. Uh, so it's nice that this solid state drive does. And, you know, so there you have it. That's the unboxing. Now let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into our benchmarking and review of the SP900 by Adata. Uh, you guys just saw the unboxing video. We went ahead and merged these uh, two videos together. It has been about five days since the unboxing video, so we have been using the hard drive, benchmarking, and stuff like that. Uh, that way, um, just letting you guys know that that way you don't think we <laughs> created an unboxing video and then went straight into review and we haven't even used the product. Uh, so let's go ahead first and discuss the specifications of the A-Data SP900. Uh, it does come in a 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte model. Um, it is SATA 3, that's 6 gigabits per second. Uh, it is backwards compatible to SATA 2 though. It has a max sequential read of 550 megabytes per second, a max sequential write of 520 megabytes per second, and a max random 4K write of up to 85,000 IOPS. And then one of the other nice things about this drive is that it does come with a three year warranty on parts and labor. All right, so let's jump right in. We use two different programs, HD Tune Pro and Crystal Disk uh, to do our benchmarking. I also want to note uh, that we did not benchmark this on an empty drive. We went ahead and installed Windows 7 on it, 64-bit. Uh, we also went ahead and um, installed a bunch of programs and stuff on it that we normally use. Basically, the drive was at about 50% um, capacity left um, You know when we did these benchmarking things. The reason we did that is there's a ton of benchmarking results out there, videos, websites, uh, the benchmark hard drives and stuff and they all benchmark them when they're empty which of course uh, when they're empty they are going to read and write at a lot faster speed than what you're going to receive if the hard drive has stuff on it so we did it at a 50 percent full status that way uh, you can kind of see under normal type conditions what type of read and write speeds you're going to be looking at. Here in the HD Tune Pro, you can see that it came out. Uh, it's 477,000 kilobytes per second read for sequential, uh, right below the graph there. Um, that comes out to about 452 megabytes per second. Um, I'm doing the math in my head, but somewhere right around there, 452, 453. Um, in the um, write for the sequential, it came out to 440. 3,000 kilobytes per second, uh, which comes out to, I think, about 413 megabytes per second. Again, I'm doing these numbers in my head, uh, so they're probably not exact, but um, it should be pretty close to what they're coming out to. And you can also see the IOPS there for the uh, different uh, tests as well. Um, and then the crystal disk mark, you can see that it came out with a, for sequential, a read speed of 259.5 and write 185.9. Uh, you're probably wondering why these results are lower. If you're new to hard drive benchmarking, um, that's actually quite normal with Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, they use a compressed file, and the type of file and stuff they use, the speeds come out 
um, quite a bit lower or whatever. However, um, if, you know, basically you're using these to compare it to other SSD drives, uh, so it should let you know where it falls in line uh, with those. Okay, so now for the review of the um, SP900. Uh, First, let me kind of explain why we decided to go with the SP900 um, versus other popular SSDs. Um, I don't want to compare it to every other SSD out there, so I'll just go with kind of the other two most popular drives right now that I see people buying and recommending, and that is the Kingston SSD Now V300 and also another Kingston, the HyperX 3K. Um, the SSD Now V300 will set you back about... Um, $69.99 to $79.99. So 70 to 80 bucks for the SSD now. Um, the A data normally runs between about um, 80 to 90 dollars, depending on if you can get it on sale and stuff like that. And the um, HyperX 3K normally runs about 100 bucks. And again, you might be able to get it on sale for like 90 bucks or something, but typically it's about 100 bucks. So, what's the difference between these drives and what made us choose to go with the um, route of A data? Well, first, um, one of the biggest things we like about this drive, and this isn't something you see with a lot of other SSDs, is that it actually comes with 128 gigabytes instead of 120 gigabytes like most other um, SSDs. Um, the reason for that is is that they actually, um, the flash chips that they use, they use a higher quality flash chip inside there for the memory, and it actually um, allows them, by using that higher quality, they... Um, most SSDs have an extra chi extra eight gigabyte the extra chips there on each uh, set that allow that if the hard drive needs to move files back and forth from location or whatever they have it there to to do that. Um, so by them using higher quality, they basically took out that buffer, um, you know, which allows you know an increase, I guess, of of hard drive failure if they didn't use better parts. If that makes sense. Um, so. And I don't know all the details of it, honestly. I mean, I'm not, you know, a, a science major and, or you know, a computer science major or anything like that. Uh, but basically, I mean, that's that's what it does in a jiffy. Um, so, you know, it comes with an extra eight gigabytes. Which, when it comes to SSDs, I mean, that's that's kind of a huge deal. You want to be able to put as much as you can in terms of your operating system, the programs that you use most of the time and stuff, on your SSD drive. And you still want a little bit of room to be able to, you know, do whatever you need to do on it. And then, of course, most people use a secondary slave drive, you know, a traditional drive, like a one terabyte, a two terabyte, for video games, things like that, you know, that are larger, other programs that you might not use as much, uh, that then you're not going to see a speed increase, um, you know, for those things. So it's nice getting the extra eight gigabytes there. The other reason is the, um, even though the SSD now V300 by Kingston, um, is about 10 bucks cheaper on average than the A data. The read and write speeds are actually quite lower. Um, it's rated from Kingston at 450 megabytes per second read and write maximum. Um, and the, you know, whereas the SP900 is rated at 550 and 520. Uh, you know, so quite a nice little jump there in speed for the extra 10 bucks that you're probably going to pay. Um, and sometimes you can find them for about the same price, you know, so if you find them for the same price, you should definitely pick up the A data in my opinion. Um, and then what about the HyperX 3K? Well, it does sport a lot higher of a read and write than their uh, cheaper version, the SSD now, but it actually comes out to be about the same as the A data drive, and that is um, 550 megabytes um, read and 510 megabytes write. So it's actually 10 megabytes le less on the write speed than the A data is. Um, one of the nice things about the A data versus that also is that it's going to run you about an extra 20 bucks higher to go with the Kingston HyperX 3K. Now I have seen other benchmarks out there where the HyperX does actually perform a little better than the A data, um, even though the A data is rated at a higher um, read and write speed. Um, however, for the extra 20 bucks, I mean, to me, you're much better off getting the A data drive. You get the extra eight gigabytes of space. It's it's pretty much comparable with the you know the 3K the HyperX 3K, and it's definitely you know you're gonna you're gonna save 20 bucks. So I would definitely recommend going with that. Uh, so 
overall, you know, I definitely think this is a nice SSD. I definitely think if you're if you're looking to upgrade to an SSD or you're doing a new PC build and you're looking for an SSD to place in it, you should definitely check out the ADATA line. I've always been a huge fan of ADATA products. Um, their quality of builds are very um, meticulous. They do a really great job. They use high quality materials. Um, this, their, their service and support is excellent. It's top notch. I've had to get a hold of them for a couple different things over the years um, with some of their products and stuff. Um, well, only about the last, I've only been using them a lot for about the last year, but I've had to get in touch with them a couple times during this last year. And uh, I've, they've always been quick to respond, they've always been very professional. Uh, so it's definitely um, you know a good company in my opinion. Uh, so definitely check them out. You can find links in the description below um, to all of the different um, products that were mentioned: the um, SP900, the SSD Now V300, and the HyperX 3K, um, which will take you to Amazon so that you can see what the you know latest prices are because these things do fluctuate. Um, if it's not on sale, check back in a couple days because they do put these three drives on sale all the time. You see. You see them drop 10 bucks here, go back up, drop 10 bucks again. Um, and also with Black Friday coming up, you, sh you could probably find uh, one of these SSDs, um, you know, for as cheap as 60 bucks, uh, which would be excellent. Um, and you should definitely pick one up, um, you know, then. So, you know, you might, if you're looking to get it right away, you know, just search the, the three. Um, you know, if you can find the. King, I, w I really wouldn't recommend getting the SSD now. I know there's a lot of people that do, and it is a nice little drive for the money, I guess. But just, I mean, for that extra ten bucks, I mean, you can get a huge. Yeah, I mean, you're talking, you know, an extra hundred megabytes um, read and write speed higher, you know, almost, um, you know, for an extra ten bucks. If you can find, you know, the HyperX 3K for the same price as the A Data then you might want to go ahead and pick up that one because like I said most benchmarks it does rate a little bit better than the A data uh, but if it's you know the normal price of being 20 bucks higher than the A data in my opinion you should save your money save the 20 bucks and just go with this A data SP900 it's a great little drive it's working great for us um, and I definitely would recommend it alright guys uh, until we see you next time make sure you uh, like this video subscribe to our channel for more uh, PC gaming um, hardware reviews uh, gaming videos, different things that we do on the site. Um, also, like I said, please give it a like if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the game.